real quick, um, I want to go over 2016 and what it's brought me. I know it's brought a lot of deaths. Jesus Christ. It's my Lord and Savior, but still, a lot of people has died. Famously, uh, can't even name them all. It's, it's like every single day something's happening. But, um, my 2016 happened, and it started off right off the bat, bad luck. No joke, bad luck. I was at my uh, fiance's New Year's party with her cousins and stuff, and uh, well, I locked my keys inside my car, three o'clock in the morning. So I had to meet my mom halfway at our church and then um, go get it. And uh, that was that was not a good night to start off. I was sat there in the freezing cold waiting for my, uh, my mom to come give me the keys, drive up with her, and come all the way back down. Then, not even a week into the New Year's, I went to the mall and I had a job interview for Lyft. Was, I had my own Jeep at the time, that's another thing. Uh, had my interview set up and stuff, not at the mall, but just down the street from the malls I hang out. And I set my, down, set my phone down I was hanging out with my fiance and uh, went up for five seconds. Realizing I walked away five seconds away from it. And uh, I lost it. So, I had to get a new one. So, I did that. So when that happened, that was not even a week. That happened maybe four days after locking myself inside the outside of the car. So that happened. So I was like, "Well, I need a new phone. I need it." So that following Saturday, this is like the ninth. Uh, this is the seventh when I lost my phone in January. Then the ninth came, and I was. Uh, no, actually, okay, so that same night on the 7th of January, I was like, crap, I don't know what to do. Maybe I can go to the um, provider I'm with and see what they can do. Insurance doesn't cover squat at all. So even warranties don't even do anything. So um, on the way there to find out what I can do with the provider, and it's AT&T and uh, I was first time ever getting a speeding ticket on the way there a hundred and fifty dollars for going I think it was 10 miles over the speed limit and it was on a downhill slope on one of the hills and he caught me at the right time so he got me there so that happened don't know what to do don't have my phone for a couple days so Saturday morning I went and uh, got some money out and went to go get another iPhone. Well, on the way there, not a joke, this is happening in a few days, not even a matter of 14 days. It happened in a matter of a couple of days. And um, on the way there, it was raining in January. It was not icy or anything, it was just raining. And it's, this is my Jeep. And uh, we were literally half a mile from the mall, the Apple store. And uh, traffic was backed up. The light turned green. Everyone went. Well, five cars in front of us, they decided to just slam their brakes. And we're bumper, bumper to bumper. And instantly, boom, it was a chain reaction starting with me. I was the last one. I hit the truck in front of me, hit the car in front of him, and then I think 
car in front of the third car got away with it. But it was inches. They felt they they thought they got hit but they didn't so they took off. So that happened. So and the backstory on my Jeep and stuff, I just changed the insurance on it. To save me a little bit of money. I wish I didn't do that. So I lost my Jeep, my phone, got a ticket. So I was like, oh jeez. Oh jeez, what am I gonna do? This is 2016 and I'm down one vehicle, lost the phone, got a speeding ticket out of the bank. This is not how I want it to go. So I, I didn't know what was gonna happen and I, money just started falling. Went away just like that. Boom, 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 boom. So it was it was not good. Um. So when that happened, after that, that was in January, February. Uh, I I took I told myself if something else happened again, I would I'm staying in for the rest of 2016, and I felt like that, that the whole year. It seemed like I had bad luck all year. Um. So, the went the years went, um, the months went by, the weeks went by, nothing really happened. March I got engaged. Um, March I went to North Carolina. That's my favorite state. Uh, what else? Uh, May. I mean March, April. Uh, I. Not much happened there. I had a few jobs, temp jobs. They didn't go through, so um, they, it was their temp jobs. What are you supposed to do? Then I started school, college for being a medical assistant back in May. Uh, towards the end of it, and I was going to see if I was going to be an MA or not. And then I kind of just, I'm not good with school. I want to be honest, I'm not. So that that didn't go through either. Then mid, like halfway through doing these classes, I think it was like October, and uh, I just got my second car back, and I was using it, and it broke down at a stop sign, and it started so I was like, oh, I can probably get it home. My parents came out again. This is like 2 o'clock in the morning. It was really late. Then, um, got it on the side of the road on a highway. Broke down again. And we were like, well, we're done trying. It's 2.30 in the morning. We're just going to go home, come up in the morning and get it fixed and get it home. Well, we went home, got some sleep. I got some sleep at least. And my dad was going to go back. He left a flashlight in the car. And when he went back, the car wasn't there. Someone stole my car. How in the heck did that happen? It was broke down. Uh, we didn't know what was going on. It was just not starting. We thought it was the battery. The battery was fine. And I don't know what happened to it, but someone stole my car. My broke down car. Don't know what happened to it. Don't know where it went. We checked all the towing companies, um, police departments, uh, towing companies. Uh, I think I said but all of them. I mean, we tried it all. And nothing showed up. So I had to report, report it stolen, so that happened. And then September went by, the Cubs won. Woo! Uh, happy about that. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to, a lot's happened this year, so I'm trying to remember everything off the top of my head. Whatever comes to my mind, probably will forget a lot of things. Um, Another thing was back in March and May and April and all them, uh, 
I was a coach, assistant coach for a little league, and that was fun. My fiance played softball in high school, so she wanted to coach. I liked it. That was fun. Um. Then November came. Thanksgiving came. That was fun. Uh, then I got this job with another temp agency. And, um, dang, sorry about that. Something just pinched my leg and it hurts. But anyway, um, another temp job. Then, four days into it, it was a warehouse job. And they worked with steel bar, and still, basically steel beams and stuff. 60 to 17 pounds. We were moving one of these beams to the bottom shelf just to make more room. A total of six of them in a bundle. And what happened was the third one that we were about to move was in by itself like this. And we're up in the air and I'm not underneath it trying to move the second one. So we just got that in and I'm moving it along. And that one just goes hits me in the head, hits me, dead center of my head, I had my ball cap on, I had my Green Bay Packers one on, and um, gave me a concussion, I was out for like two weeks, and this is why I'm doing this now, I just like, I just need to go with it, life's short, I thought I was not going to make it through 2016, so, I started this, and uh, started vlogging and doing YouTube. So yeah, 2016 has been rough. Christmas was fine. I got a new cooler for fishing, new chair, a couple, I got new sheets. I'm thankful for what I have. So uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm hoping 2017 is a little bit better. I'm planning on losing weight. Uh, me and my fiance want to do that before the wedding. We are getting married in March. That is going to be fantastic. Um, this Friday we're going to go look at houses. See what we can find. And then go from there. And hopefully start the New Year's off really great. And not how this one, this one started off. So, uh, I liked it. I like what the positives. So the positives, I like seeing the positives. So. Engage, went to North Carolina, um, Little League, coaching, being a student for a little bit. Um, got to do a couple of photo shoots, that was good. Uh, and uh, that's it. So this is my 2016 and 2017. Lucky number 17 is my favorite number. Please, please treat me well. Especially if I'm going to start my own life with my fiance, soon to be wife. Just treat me well. I mean, that's, that's, that's all I'm asking. So thank you for um, joining me um, on late notice. Um, so I wish you Happy New Year's and I wish that everyone out there watching this video um, the best of luck. I hope 2016 was good for you, if not, I mean, we have another year to knock out, so don't give up. So that's it. Enjoy um, 2016 as it winds down, and um, remember your loved ones at the end of the year. So my video was too long, so I have to make this short. Um, remember your loved ones, of course, and like and share this video leave a comment have a feedback and uh, subscribe and uh, hopefully you hopefully you enjoyed it it's pretty long but um, we will manage so thank you I appreciate it and uh, see you later